All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I'm going to be making the case that the worldwide celebration we're currently on for both Global and JP has got to be one of, if not the worst major celebration, major campaign we have ever had in the history of this game, at least in recent memory, like for the last two or three years, right? Because there is just nothing to do guys there is just no content to actually play i mean you could not imagine how many times during the day i'll open up my phone you know click on dokkan log in and then just close the game again because like i want to play the game right i want to grind some dokkan and there's just nothing for me to do so you know i, I open it up and then i realize oh shoot i can't do anything and then close the app again. And I mean, there is link leveling to be fair, but that's not even specific to the campaign. That's just a new, you know, a new mechanic, right? So as far as the campaign itself is concerned, as far as the event specific to the worldwide celebration, it's really, really lacking. All right, and to be fair, I wanna put this out there, Bandai still has a chance to recover. They still have a chance to save this campaign because there's still a part two, there's still a part three, so maybe those are loaded with new events and new content and stuff to grind but uh, we're off to a really bad start with part one i mean it's been over a week now since it started and most of the people that i've talked to i mean i've seen the messages i've seen the the tweets most people are bored to tears man and i, I feel like i mean i kind of thought this might be a controversial video but i don't think it's gonna be actually because i think most people feel this way right now and you know what before I go any further, let's actually take a look at what this campaign has had to offer so far, right? But real quick, actually, I want to give a quick shout out to my good friends over at Pain Shop on Twitter. They've been hooking me up with some uh, really generous prices on my Dragonstones recently. If you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, possibly for part two of this celebration, oh, by the way, specifically for iOS, then uh, make sure to hit them up on Twitter. Link in my description down below okay so with that said let's take a look at uh, part one of the worldwide celebration so far so we got a little movie here which was really dope it was a really really good movie but it was just like a 30 second clip and it was over after that so not really content there we have a login bonus it's not content we have special missions not content we have this, yo, Escape from the Innards of Boo Worldwide Co-op Campaign. They really dropped the ball on this one. This could have been so much more interesting. This could have been a new event for us to actually, you know, grind on both Global and JP. But instead, it just ended up being a stamina expenditure campaign. And it literally could have been called anything, right? Like, obviously, this fits the theme of the celebration, but it would have been the same thing if they called it, like, eating bananas with bubbles or cleaning cars with Elder Kai. Like, it doesn't really matter what it's called because all it is is Global and JP using stamina together. And you know what? You know what's funny, actually? If you needed a indication that there's not enough content, not enough new stuff to do in this campaign, this was actually the perfect example because they set an astronomically high goal for Global and JP of 2.2 billion stamina spent and we couldn't even reach it because there was just nothing to do. Like people were not playing Dokkan because there wasn't stuff to play, right? So they had to extend it by five days before we could actually reach this goal. And um, I mean, Bandai clearly overestimated just like how much stuff they gave us to do because usually they set these goals with the intention of us being able to reach it, right? Like when it comes to like the comeback campaigns, social media campaigns, all that stuff. All those goals are, you know, supposed to be reachable, like, easily for us, right? And this 2.2 billion was just not possible given the time restriction they gave us. That's why they had to extend it. So, like I said, man, if you needed any, like, indication of the lack of content, like, how dry it has been on Dokkan, this is actually the perfect example. It really has. So yeah, I, I, I have an issue with this one because I just feel like it could have been so much more interesting. It could have been like a nuking event. It could have been some other kind of like new event we haven't thought of before. But instead, they just made it a boring old um, stamina thing. And it sucks. It really does. It could have been called anything, like I said. Um, 
Oh, also, where is the global and JP? Like, I, I know this time around it's not supposed to be global versus JP, but every year so far they've done, they, they've done like a new unit or two new units for like both sides, right? And you know, one side would get one unit, the other side would get the other unit. Uh, examples would be like the Cell and Hercule from last year, or before that we had the Frieza and Super Saiyan Goku. Before that we had the Yamcha and Badman Vegeta. And we got nothing this year, right? Like, people were looking forward to the new event cards, and we didn't get them either, right? So that was also kind of disappointing. But yeah, this stupid co-op campaign right there. Uh, the banners. Okay, the Duel Duel Confest. To be fair, let me put this out there. The Vegito and the Boo are phenomenal. They're amazing units. Two of the best in the game by far. Some people think Boo is better. Some people think Vegito is better. I personally think that Vegito overall is the better unit. But that's a different discussion for a different video. Uh, also, two of the two of the best banners we have ever seen as well, right? There's amazing banners, but I've said this many, many times now: new banners, new units, is not new content. Okay, people summon for units to be used for new content to run on new events and test them out in different scenarios, different situations, all that good stuff. But the actual Units themselves and the actual banners cannot be considered new content. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, so as good as these guys are, as hype as they are, as much as I enjoy using them, I would have really enjoyed using them on some new events, you know what I mean? So, yeah, there's the dual Dokkan Fest, and then we had some Dokkan events, which, I mean, I guess is technically new content, but we always get new Dokkan events for new Dokkan Fest units, right? And what else do we have here? Okay, we got the celebration banner, the ticket banner, as well as the stone banner. Obviously, don't be spending stones on this banner. Only use tickets. And uh, once again, new banner is not content. What else do we have? Uh, Memorial dragon stones. Okay, uh, red dragon stone, purple dragon stone, stone sails. None of this is content. This is new content, actually. Okay, we got a new story event. One new story event. This, in my opinion, is really the only new thing the new new content that they introduced in 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 part one of the celebration right and honestly man it took me like 30 minutes to grind out the hercule and the goku and finish all the stages so as much as it, as it is something new it's not enough it's, it's not enough we got this like saiyan gluttons event which takes about 20 seconds per day uh, we got the new boss rush which took me about 20 minutes, I think. Obviously, it depends on how how much uh, or how long you've been playing the game for, or how good your teams are. But I, I don't see anybody taking more than like maybe 45 to an hour at the most. And nobody's gonna be doing this again, right? Okay, here's my main issue actually with part one. There's nothing with replayability, right? There's no new event with replayability. That's the problem. Because with boss rush, like you do it for the stones. Nobody's redoing boss rush unless you're like racing a friend or something. I guess that's that's fine, but. You know, as far as just like solo content you're doing, nobody's gonna be doing it more than once for fun because you're just doing Dokkan events, right? Like that's not exciting, that's not fun, that's not new, right? So Boss Rush, okay, fine. Um, Memorial Dragonstone, I'm still pissed about the fact that they made every single unit cost 150. I still think that's ridiculous. So I, I thought maybe given some time, I would like feel different about it. I don't. Go watch my rant video about that, okay? Like <laughs> they dropped a bomb on this too, man. This could have been so nice for free-to-play players especially, but instead they decided to screw them over because there's not a single free-to-play player out there who can buy any units in the Baba shop because they made, made it 150. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Anyways, moving on. SNS campaign, which is actually JP only. We do have a few, um, you know, campaigns on Global as well, like on Twitter and stuff like that, but that's not really content either. either. It's just rewards, right? What else do we have? Okay, hit a potential event open every day. During the weekend, Elder Kai banner. Um, okay, launches treasure hunt. That's kind of new. We had it before, but still something new to do. But it's 20 seconds per week, right? You can do it once per week. It takes 20 seconds. Maybe I'm being generous. Maybe it takes like 10 seconds. And uh, they could have easily just made this missions too, because essentially that's what it is, right? You're just doing it for the stones. You're not doing it because the event is fun and you can't really, you know, actually grind it or anything like that. And lastly, we had the new Ultimate Clash. We get an Ultimate Clash every single month, so this is not new. It is Boo Saga themed, which is cool, right? I enjoyed the change, 
but uh, this took about, took about what, like 40 minutes at most, maybe an hour. So if we do the math here, let's say an hour to be generous, okay, no, you know what, 40, 40 minutes, okay, 40 minutes for the virtual ultimate clash or, or battlefield. This takes 20 seconds per week, so we're not gonna count that. Uh, what else? This takes, this took me about 20 minutes, so let's say an hour. This takes 20 seconds per day, so we're not gonna count that either. Uh, this took me about 30 minutes, so an hour and a half. And grinding out the token awakening medals for these guys took about an hour, so two and a half hours. Um, so you're telling me that for a part one to the celebration that has so far lasted for, I think, over a week, and is probably gonna go for another week before part two comes. Actually, I'm not too sure when part two comes, but I believe we're still at least a couple days to a week away. Um, it's just for how little content th th there is, it's too long, man. Like people I've been talking to, man, my global players out there are bored to tears. Like they're just so bored of Dokkan. People are playing more Legends or playing Seven Deadly Sins, Grand Cross or whatever other gacha game that's out there because there's like, at least there's something to do in those games compared to Dokkan right now. So, you know, Bandai Spies out there, if you're watching, you drop the ball, man, do better. Do better, please make part two a lot more interesting because at this point man you're, you're you're losing some players you're losing some people I, i've been getting people messaging me telling me they want to they want me to give away their accounts because they're just done with okan right they're they're sha they got shafted or they're just bored and they're like i don't want to play this game anymore can you give away my account and I, I was like i'll just give it some time okay like don't hold the trigger yet right like just just wait until part two see what happens because there's still hope, right? There's still more to this campaign, but so far they've they screwed up. <laughs> they really screwed up. So, um, okay, you know what? Before we go, let, let's talk about what could have made this better. And the main thing I would say is the lack of replayability, right? The lack of things to do every single day. Because once you finish the story event grinding, which, like I said, doesn't take that long. Once you finish the ultimate clash. Once you finish the new boss rush. All those things combined, about two and a half hours. Oh, also grind the medals for the units if you pulled them. If you didn't pull the, the new units, you're not even grinding the medals um, from the Dokkan events, right? So that might not even be a thing for some people. But once you've done all those, you have about a minute of content at reset every day. And that's it. There's nothing else to do. So if they had introduced, at least specifically on Global, the new Extreme uh, Super Battle Road or the new SBR stages from JP, on global, those are at least things we can work on and we can do multiple clears of to finish the missions and all that stuff, right? That would have been fine. I think if they introduced introduced just one of them, then people would have been a lot less upset about the campaign so far. And uh, it would have been it would have been okay. I mean, it still would have been a little bit lacking, but not nearly as much, not nearly to the extent it has been so far. You know what I mean? Um, also, what else could they do? Um, they could have given us in a world tournament, right? I mean, a world tournament is only a couple days, I know, but it's still, you know, something to look forward to. Right now, we have nothing to look forward to. That's the problem, too. So, lack of replayability, nothing to look forward to, and uh, it's just been bad. What can I say? It's, it's, it's just been bad. They could have, you know, given us, like, one of those um, tile break. You can remember last year with the Hercules tile breaking thing, right? Like, they could have given us a nuking event we can do every day like that or the uh, Frieza's recruitment test or whatever it was called for the anniversary, something like that too. Like, wh why couldn't they have made that? That seems like something that's super easy to set up, right? Um, man, I could go on and on. I could go on and on. I didn't really intend this to be a rant video, but I guess it did end up being a rant video. But it is what it is, you know, things happen. You have plans, they change. And uh, this became a rant video essentially, but Hopefully you guys feel the same way as me. If you guys disagree with anything that I said during the video, that's totally fine. And feel free to let me know in the comments down below where our opinions differ and uh, maybe we can talk about it. But that's just how I feel guys, okay? I'm hoping, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that part two and part three are much better if there is a part three, but part two at least. I hope it's much, much better. But uh, given how part one has gone, I'm not so sure, man. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to come through like that, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely hopeful. That's what I'll say. Um, but uh, that's the video, guys. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I didn't piss anybody off. I don't think I did, because I think 
99% of people out there feel the same way as me. I'm just getting it out there. I'm just getting it off my chest. And now I'm done. I'm good. But uh, thank you guys once again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.